What's up, Internet? Kern1776 here, and I'm with the one and only Doug Marcada. Marcada. <laughs> Marcada. Marcada. It's the AI in your last name that gets I me. I know, I know. No problem, Brendan. <laughs> 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 so you may be asking yourself, what in the world is Brandon doing hanging out with Doug in his family's backyard? Well, I asked myself the same question when I was getting this trip together. I'm like, this is crazy. So I met Doug at the uh, SHOT Show. And we were in the Fox booth and we got to talking about how cool would it be to have this big knife, you know, come in the box and everything. and that's got Doug's spin on it mm -hmm. that can be used for a multitude of things. One of the things I do have that I'm known for with the uh, Fox booth is the dart knife, you know, my direct action Tonto blade. Mm -hmm. So I go, you know what? Why don't we create something that matches adventure and survival delivered, right? Yeah. And we came out with the dart Big brother, <laughs> the Magnum. <laughs> yeah, right? So don't go picking on a little boy because he's got a big brother right here. <laughs> yeah. But in this design of this, I said, you know what? I wanted something that would definitely do its work in the outdoors, a survival cleaver style. Mm -hmm. Most cleavers that you have there, I guess you could think of, you know, the Siberian cleaver that's got the sheep's foot over there. Right. But why not allow something that can puncture? that has the weight, that has the width to do light work when you're out, you know, out in the woods, at the same time be hefty, that it can do all the work that a cleaver can do, mm -hmm. but also have that, well, tactical work of using it for any kind of, well, defense or offense, yeah. depending on what you are, because that's what I do. And we're gonna get Brandon here to actually experiment on showing us how to use it out in the woods for survival stuff. But at the same time, how does that relate to, well, the Filipino martial arts? We're gonna find out. So cool listening to him talk about this, like right here. <laughs> <laughs> right here, that's right. Oh God. Found us a stump right here. Yeah, I didn't chop the tree down. <laughs> this is some hard, that stuff's hard. That's like concrete. We'll see what happens. We'll start small. Watch your opposing leg at all times. Oh wow. Okay. That was pretty easy. You could either make you a shank out of a piece of wood, or right. you can make a stake. You know, if we're trying to make a, a stake to put in the ground, you know, you can notch it out for your uh, string or your cordage, as we like to say in the survival world. Something instead of breaking that. Yeah, I mean, it. Uh, it's literally like a hammer super hard obviously yeah very effective um, striking with this it's yeah, got good good weight to it it's got very good balance and you know weight distribution in the area to really maximize the the energy um, from the blade and you know, for processing, if you're gonna do curls or whatever, the distance here is nice. The width, yeah. It gets, it because it, the because you're pushing that, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. sometimes when, like a smaller knife, when the edge is, when, when it's not as deep, you, you, you feel like you're digging more. Uh -huh. Then you are sliding through. Or yeah, sliding through. and a lot of times you find yourself getting too yeah. deep when you mm -hmm. didn't want to, where here, because of that distance, I feel like I can really control and you get more of the curl too because it just sort of rides on the, um, the, you know, the, the, not the edge, but the body of the blade. Right. Doug done, done went and got into the family's firewood stash. <laughs> now with batoning, you want to be careful of just striking here on the tips. Um, that could be a weak point. One thing that you can do is you can turn it upside down. You want to put the blade on the stump. There you go. So this is protecting the tip of your blade by not allowing you to strike just that blade on the tip and creating a break in your knife. And I'm just gonna do this. 
That's some knotty stuff, Doug. Yeah. That stuff's tough when it's knotty. Now, because this is a well-made blade, you can do that on the tip. But regardless, be mindful of the size that you're trying to split. Use your knife as a gauge. If I'm going through this, am I gonna be able to continue to strike? Or is it gonna be buried inside of it? So it will cut. It will cut. <laughs> <laughs> It will cut, you are right. And it's smart to just do it in chunks. Small pieces, no need to split it completely down the middle. And always watch out for knots. I don't care how good your knife is, mm -hmm. that right there is gonna ruin your day. <laughs> so we'll leave that piece alone. And you don't have to freaking daggum karate chop the crap out of this. Just let the blade do its work. Let the blade split, give it an old tap. All right, so it definitely passed the wood working test, the batoning, the, uh, the, the busting through wood, the shaving. Um, excellent. Tips, nice and straight. I like it. Yep, we can do the tip retention test. Yeehaw, look at that. Got some, got some scarring on the new blade right there. Now you know it's a user. Now, now it's a user. Awesome. And that, that's another thing, like this, this typically, this action's typically really dangerous. Yeah. Right? A lot of people when doing this, uh, they'll, their hand slips or continues to come down in, in different ways, or if they're holding it, especially this way, Bleed in. get yep. a lot of cuts here in this yep. area. But with that, that's a large, that's a large choil right there, guard. Like I've, I've got big hands and not advocating you do this, <laughs> but I'm just saying this is one of the more safer yeah. designs. And I always back it up with a thumb stop too. Yeah. Not just relying, it doesn't have a full guard in there, it's a half guard. It's the, the idea of putting your thumb right there to back it up also to, yeah. so you don't end up going down into that, you know, so that yeah. idea there. It's Doug. I'm right here. So we invite you to flesh. just watch along. Just watch along yeah. as we start doing some of this stuff. This is not real. It's a trainer. It's a trainer. It's a trainer, right? I still can't believe I'm hanging out with this dude. <laughs> so uh nice and warm in here now yeah so we just we just came in from outside doug was uh we, we were beating up a tree <laughs> pretty yeah. much and we did some things we actually did it live and he also had some trainers made up of these so these are you know trainers they're blunt they won't cut you or poke you or anything so a little bit lighter because you need soft and, and lighter weapons, especially when you're, you're doing impact on someone. Otherwise, if it's same steel that's blunted, it's just as dangerous. Yeah. It's just not as sharp, but it will penetrate here. But when we're training with that, we're able to move with that. These blades are designed so that irregardless of how you use it, if you know how to move with the blade, you can use it in different configurations as you're training with it martial arts style, because that is what Kali is all about, is learning how to move with the blade. Yeah, the trainers are not part of the box there, but the training is part that will have access to your special uh, group over there if they want to, to do continued training, because it was just fun, and that, yeah. that we can get together and do specific for your group, for your subscribers yeah. and, alone to be able to continue And please say that. that you guys want to see that stuff because yeah. that means I get to come back and hang out with him and film it. And, and train. And, and you know, train. Yeah, in the warm. Because it was freaking, <laughs> oh my God, folks. Yeah, have fun with that, guys. Uh, Tell me what, what your thoughts about uh, are with, with this knife um, because Brandon can always let me know how it worked out for you guys, but you already have it. So yeah. put it to good use. Get yeah. it out there.